Hi Aquarius, this is your November 1st to November 7th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly reading. So I'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Chariot, we have the World, we have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Page of Pentacles. In the potential outcome we have uh, Justice with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles and we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra or not Aquarius, uh, Libra in particular, but it could be any air sign or any sign for that matter. <laughs> this is a general reading. Um, I do see travel here. I, there, that doesn't leave my hand for some reason because we got the Chariot, the World and the Knight of Swords. Those were the first three cards that came out. The Chariot could indicate travel, you're actually going somewhere, right? The World could be someplace remote, right? Then the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights and the Knight of Swords sometimes also symbolizes an unexpected travel but together those three cards there's definitely some sort of travel or movement involved very fast movement because besides um, those cards being uh, fast um, I mean <laughs> besides those two cards the chariot and the knight of swords being uh, travel cards they're the fastest uh, one of some of the fastest cards in the tarot deck the chariot is one of the fastest cards in the, the tarot deck and the knight of swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights so it could be uh, if you're invited to go on some sort of travel or if you have to travel uh, this week then you could be meeting this person while you're on the road right or um, this connection will basically take off like a rocket very very fast because the two of you won't want to hesitate the two of you will have this instant connection you'll know that um, why waste time <laughs> right? We like each other, we have so many things in common, we finish each other's sentences and uh, the universe is on, our si is on our side. Speaking of the universe being on your side, the Empress on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. Uh, in my spreads the Empress always shows up as a, as a sign from above or a stamp of approval for a connection to move forward. Right? Besides that the Empress is simply abundance in its purest form. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Empress is somebody who is expecting a baby, so the two of you could definitely have children together if that is still an option for you. I really like the Empress here, um, especially it being on the bottom of the deck. Uh, but going back to the first three cards, the Chariot is the personal uh, Cancer card, you could be dealing with a Cancer, the Knight of Swords could be um, another air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra or another Aquarius you could be dealing with or the Knight of Swords is um, somebody rushing in but I think like I said this connection will pick up speed really quickly. The Knight of Swords is qualified by the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Page of Pentacles uh, to me personally is the most serious page out of all four pages right so this is just the beginning of this journey but uh, the Page of Pentacles always talks about uh, longevity, long term so this person is just this is just the beginning but there is a huge potential with the Page of Pentacles and that, that's exactly what we see with the Ace of Pentacles and the potential outcome, right? The Ace of Pentacles is like an upgrade from the Page. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Every once in a while the, page, uh, the Ace of Pentacles co comes through as a card of a commitment or a proposal, right? Or an offer to take this relationship to the next level. But to me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle any other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a bundle. It's like a package, all Aces combined into one. Um, we also have Justice on the left uh, from the Ace of Pentacles. Justice is the personal Libra card. You could be dealing with a Libra. Or um, Justice is the legal system. And by that I mean it could be an actual person who's got the authority to marry other people, right? Or justice could be an actual place where people get married like a chapel, right? Or what have you. And the very last card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment or marriage. And I really like this progression from the Page of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a very uh, serious, grounded, long-term type of a connection. Uh, this is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, they uh, have children together, if that is still an option for them. And don't forget about the Empress 
on the bottom of the deck. Like I said, it could be somebody who is expecting a baby. So um, overall, um, Aquarius, I really like it. It's going to take off like a rocket if uh, you're traveling. Uh, this week you could be meeting this person while you're traveling and you don't have to be traveling really far but uh, with the world card being here it's it could be a remote destination and by the way the world is my happy end card as well as we all know um, every single tarot card has multiple meanings right and uh, one of the meanings of the world is a happy end um, so yeah there is a great potential and uh, nobody is wasting any time. Nobody is wasting any time. So this person is going to be right down your alley, Aquarius. Because I know you are an air sign. You like to, you know, move forward quickly, and that's exactly what we see here. All right. Really happy for you. Congratulations, Aquarius. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by strength. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. In the outcome, we have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Fool. And we also have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. But most likely, you're dealing with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other. So what I see here is one of you. It could be you or your person, your significant other. has been harboring some sort of an idea or something they wanted to share with you. Um, something they wanted to uh, do with you, start with you, have some sort of a new beginning with you. They've been harboring, they've been thinking about it, perhaps they've been perfecting it in their own heads. And uh, this week they're not, not going to be holding back anymore, they're going to let you know what that is. Alright? <laughs> So the Hermit on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but the Hermit is probably either you or your significant other doing some soul searching, thinking about something, an idea or an offer or some sort of an opportunity. Um, it could be some sort of a bright idea, perhaps they want to start a business, perhaps uh, they want to yeah, live their 9 to 5 and start their own business, perhaps they want to start it with you. Um, but it could be about anything, some sort of a change, right? So it's a light bulb moment, a light bulb went off in their head at some point in the past and they've been thinking about it nonstop. But they've been holding back and not letting you know, not sharing it with you. Perhaps they wanted to make sure when they do share it with you, it's perfect, right? Um, so this week they're going to be shared with you. They're going to share it with you. Uh, the first card I came out is uh, uh, the Ten of Swords and it's qualified by Strength. Strength. Strength is the personal Leo card, but I think... Uh, the Ten of Swords is a card of a uh, ending, and strength could play out as a card of somebody holding back. So they're going to stop holding back, and uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, they're going to present it to you. That idea that they've been thinking about, an offer for you, or something among those lines, right? And in their mind, the Ace of Pentacles, or if that's you, Aquarius, presenting this idea, in your mind, it is a golden opportunity. The person on the receiving end will have to think about it. They'll have to think about it together with you because the next card I came out is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is all about, hmm, should we do this? Should we stay? Should we go? Should we move? Should we start this new business? Should we buy this new house? Should we sell our house and go travel? <laughs> right? Should we quit our jobs and go travel? Uh, it could be anything. And uh, I got really curious myself. I don't usually do it in couples spreads, but I pulled uh, I pulled the outcome for you guys. Uh, and in the outcome, we have the six of swords and uh, the fool. I usually don't pull outcomes because there's two people already in this relationship or marriage, and uh, I usually let you guys, you know, figure it out. Two brains is better than one, right? But in this case, I got really curious because we had the two of pentacles. So anyway. <laughs> Um, the outcome is yes, you're going to go for it. The outcome is a new beginning, the outcome is taking a risk, the outcome is uh, embracing this uh, idea or offer with the Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Swords is a card of movement or moving towards something and the Fool is a brand new beginning, right? Taking a leap of faith. So most likely um, the Ace of Pentacles is that good, it's that perfect idea or an opportunity that uh, the two of you are going to go for it. All right. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. 
We have the Wheel of Fortune clarified by Judgment, we have the Four of Cups, then we have the Ace of Swords clarified by the Queen of Swords, and we have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much anybody. I don't know what this person did to you, but uh, you're going to be infuriated when this person shows back up. Infuriated. Oh boy. <laughs> you're going to let them have it. Um, anyway, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the first card I came out. This is uh, somebody coming back in, um, wanting to restart a cycle with you. I was hoping to get a court card as I was clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, but we got the Judgment card, right? Judgment is somebody coming back from the past. So somebody is coming back from the past after all. Um, the next, the very next card I came out is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of a rejection. So I don't think you're going to be even hesitating. You're rejecting this person right away. And um, like I said, it's going to get, it could get ugly for that person. Because uh, the rest of the cards on the, the table, this is you. Um, just uh, letting them have it. So we got the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Swords, that is you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And um, you see it's kind of symbolic that the Queen of Swords is uh, holding up a sword and that's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords and in the Five of Swords there is also a person carrying swords. Um, so you, you, what it means that you got your sword out and uh, you're not afraid to use it. You're going to be swinging left and right, hopefully not literally, but verbally. Um, and uh, this person will hear a few things they will later um, regret they ever came back to you. You know, <laughs> the Five of Swords, this is a card of a major fight. The Five of Swords, this is um, you getting really infuriated with this person. All right, so yeah, Aquarius, that's that's what I see here. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aquarius, this uh, week. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Five of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Wands, and we also have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. I see fierce competition here, Aquarius. Um, you could be competing for a new job, you could be competing for a promotion. If you're on your own business, you could be competing for a marketplace. Something among those lines, but there's definitely a competition, right? Uh, the Ace of Pentacles, the first card I came out, it is a golden opportunity. It could be a new job, a promotion, or um, has something to do with business, right? And uh, the Five of Wands, the next card over, is a card of competition in this particular case. You're definitely uh, competing with uh, other people or other companies. It's going to take a little while because uh, we have the Hangman on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Hangman is a situation that is stuck, that is not moving anywhere, so they'll just let you fight it out. <laughs> I'm just going to be very straightforward with you. right? So somebody here is waiting for um, this to unfold. And uh, it could be um, somebody who is like a hiring manager, right? So they will interview all of you and uh, just pick the one who stands out of the crowd. Or it could be... Uh, say you are a contractor and you build houses. So there is um, a, a person who wants to build a house and uh, you are one of the contractors competing against other contractors and this person will wait for the two of you to come up with the, better, with the best bid. Um, but it's just an example, right? For most of you, it's probably a competition to get a new job or a promotion. And uh, the last two cards we have on the table are the Four of Pentacles, and uh, it's clarified by the Seven of Wands. So you'll just you'll have to stand your ground. The Seven of Wands. This is a card of somebody who is on defense, but this is a card of an active defense, also competing against other people, right? Defending what you believe is right. Def defeating other people, right? And the Four of Pentacles, this is you holding on to that pentacle that we see being presented in the Ace of Pentacles. So the advice for you, I would just have to say is fight for it, stand your ground, don't take this grant for, uh, don't take this spread for granted. <laughs> um, still do your homework, still uh, prepare for this fight um, and uh, do whatever it takes to uh, secure this nomination, secure this job, secure this promotion. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Aquarius. We have um, the Page of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups qualified by the Fool, we have the Queen of Cups, and we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You could also be dealing with uh, Taurus. To be honest with you, this spread 
I think the spread is only indirectly related to you, right? The Queen of Cups, I don't think that's you. I don't think that's uh, the person coming towards you, but I think the Queen of Cups is somebody in your close circle. It could be your sister, it could be your mom, if uh, she's single, right? It could be your friend, uh, somebody you work with, um, a relative, right? And uh, what you're not expecting is this Queen of Cups um, announcing that they're getting married with somebody else. Perhaps it's going to be happening very quickly, or they were hiding it from everybody, but this week uh, you'll hear some news about them, uh, this Queen of Cups and uh, the other person getting married. <laughs> um, yes, granted, for some of you it could still be directly related to you, then the Queen of Cups could be your love interest, right? Or you could be embracing the energy of the Queen of Cups, but there's definitely a proposal here. There's definitely two people uh, letting everybody know that they're getting married. <laughs> so, uh, what you it could be an, an unexpected uh, thing for you because you did not expect this person to propose, or you did not expect yourself to propose to someone here. But there's definitely a proposal <laughs> here. But for most of you, like I said, this is somebody you know, and uh, out of the blue, you'll be hearing some news about them uh, getting married. So the uh, the Page of Swords in this spread, I believe, this is a message. Right? Every once in a while, or in most cases, I should probably say the Page of Swords is somebody spying on someone, keeping tabs on someone, but um, the Page of Swords is also a message, right? So you will hear some news. Um, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Fool, the next two cards over, uh, mean that um, there was a proposal with the Ace of Cups, and uh, the proposal was accepted. So. Uh, the uh, the fool is a, a go, a green light, the uh, the acceptance, right? Then we've got the Queen of Cups. I believe the Queen of Cups is the person on the receiving end. And uh, we also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. The Hierophant is a card of a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Or the Hierophant is um, a card of a committed relationship or marriage. All right? So like I said, for very few of you, you could be unexpectedly... Uh, proposed to, <laughs> but for most of you, it's just someone you know, someone in, uh, in your close circle who is getting married soon. Alright, so um, that's what I got for you Aquarius. Um, if this video uh, resonates with you, please like it. Also, please share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.